The White Arabian is without a doubt one of the best horses statewide to that early in story mode. My name is Jolo and today I'm going to show you where to find the White Arabian and show you an overview of the horse. To get yourself the White Arabian, you will need to travel to Lake Isabella, northwest of Valentine. It will be available in free roam in Chapter 2 once you open the stable during the early Ozea mission called Exit Pursued by a Bruised Ego. The White Arabian has a base speed and acceleration of 6, which is one of the best for a wild horse. It's a superior breed with an elite handling, meaning it will be more responsive when turning, for example. It's a small horse, comparatively to many others, but it's great to get early on, especially for the Horseman Challenge dry dash runs or the NPC races that can pop up as random encounters. The White Arabian is not necessary for any of these, but can give you a bit of an edge with its speed and acceleration. The White Arabian seems a bit more skittish than other breeds for some players, especially when facing cougars or wolves, but nothing too dramatic if well fed and maintained. The White Arabian used to be the best early white horse to death in the game, and arguably still is, before the introduction of newer horses that came later in an updated version. Arriving at Lake Isabella on the west side, we start slowing down midway as not to spook it, and keep an eye out. Depending on the weather, the horse can be harder to find, as its white coat on the white snow can be tricky to discern. You can approach it any way you want to. But I prefer the most safe way of calling it and approaching slowly. Once you close enough, after 10 minutes along the way, you can mount it and then break it. Once broken, I like to feed it and brush it until it reaches at least level 1 bonding, so it can follow when whistled. At level 1, it will have a health of 5 and a stamina of 5, which is a good starting point for a wild horse. If you wish so, you can sell it at the stable for 48 bucks at that level. Or nanny seats at the horse fence if you unlocked it in Chapter 3. You will need to get to 400 XP to upgrade your bonding level to level 2. You can do so by patting, feeding, brushing, or leading your horse. The latter being the most efficient time wise, but also the most boring if you want to just play the game. On set level 2, its health and stamina will increase to 6. You will be able to sell it at the stables for 120 bucks and at the fence for 144. To reach level 3, you will now need to get to 1150 XP. Once done, its health and stamina stat will be increased to 7. At the stables, you will get 180 bucks for it. And play will give you 240 for it at the fence. You will need to get to 2450 XP to reach level 4 bonding with the White Arabian. And reaching that level will max out its health and stamina stats to a not too shabby at all 8. You will be able to sell it for 240 bucks at the stables and for a nice 360 bucks at the horse fence. All in all, the White Arabian is a red horse stat-wise, and fully bonded with its head, health and stamina, and base speed and acceleration of 6. Its elite handling also makes it a fun horse to ride around, but then again, in this game, the horses that aren't that important. Just ride the pony you fancy. Thanks everyone for tuning in, and keep an eye out for other horses profile on the channel. See ya!